I doing Duff here? And you are looking at the foot pedal of my M Super. And the reason you're looking at it is I have been reading, and probably some of you other people have been reading as well, about the latest incident of someone having their M Super, uh, this is a V3S, shut off during a hill climb. It was actually someone that was riding with Marty. So he got to witness it firsthand. And uh, when, um, after it happened, they had to um, walk the wheel home, I guess. And he took the side cover off, and he noticed that he had the um, motor connection. I think one, or if not two, of the motor connections had come apart which is something that's been reported on a number of uh, M-Supers. So it seems like it's more the V3S, not necessarily just the V3 like I have here. Although I have heard some reports of people with the V3 noticing that like some wires were melted and um, you know they were, they were under heat strain from the, the heat caused by the extreme amps that go through those wires. It seems like Gotway has somewhat under-engineered that setup, both the connectors and uh, the wiring. So anyways, I was curious what I would find under under my cover to see how my wires are looking and see how my connectors are looking. So if you're going to find out with me, I'm taking off my pedal. I'm just removing the side cover that um, contains the circuit board so I can take a look here. So I've just removed the foot pedal, and I actually um, cleared this with Ian ahead of time because I bought my wheel from Speedy Feet, and I already assumed that he wouldn't care, but um, just to make sure, I did clear it with him ahead of time that this is in a, a warranty voiding act. So depending on where you got your wheel from, and if you're interested in doing this, you might want to do something similar. So to save time, I'm using a power screwdriver to take these out. When it comes to putting them in, I might I might use the power screwdriver to get them started. But as far as the final tightening goes, I would not recommend using a power screwdriver because everything I've heard is these are kind of stupidly easy to strip or cross thread, so you don't want that. All these screws appear to be identical, so so it doesn't really matter which order you're taking them out of. Uh, they don't have to necessarily go back in the same place. Yeah, see, that. Yeah, see that easily, this thing wanted to start to strip. These are like cheap, cheap, low quality screws, without a doubt. Okay, I think I got all of them. So in total, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, eleven. Eleven, I think. Looks like it's eleven screws total. So let's see how this comes off. I've never dug into this at all. Some tape and battery. Okay, that wasn't too bad. All right, so the inside of my wheel looks clean. Yeah, I don't do um, a lot of crazy wiring or a lot of crazy riding. Hmm. Wasn't okay. Ooh. Let's take a good look here. I'm not feeling happy from my initial glance. If you're looking at these connectors here. These are the ones that they're talking about that are falling apart. yellow wire one. You see how that's pulled apart there? 
that part doesn't make me very happy. Um, I'm not seeing any... I've seen some situations where this um, cover was actually starting to melt away from heat distress. I'm not seeing that on mine. Mine does look super clean inside though. You can tell I don't take it off road very much. If ever. Okay, so I want to get a better look at this, but I don't want to. No idea how clearly this will show up on on the GoPro. Okay, so that's all right. So this just this insulator just slides back and forth, so it really might not be a big deal. You know, pulling on it lightly, nothing's nothing nothing's coming loose. When I first glanced at that, I thought I thought it was because like something was melted back or whatever. But no, it seems okay. Not seeing any um, other heat-related issues, so I think I'm okay. But I've heard that uh, what a lot of people are doing is replacing these with, I think they're called X, XT150s or XT50s. I think they're XT150. It's the type of the connector that they're doing. But really, my soldering skills are not great. And um, I'd be worried that I would be causing more of a problem. You know, I would prefer that like that way. Just uh, did a good job right from the start that we wouldn't have to worry about this kind of stuff. It's kind of ridiculous that we do. We have to have their customers digging into their wheels to make sure that they actually put them together in a safe manner. So yeah, that doesn't that doesn't look too bad. Everything else looks secure. My Bluetooth module. So I think I'm okay. Um, I think that this wheel officially should be okay. So this is the um, 67 volt B3. So I'm glad to see that it wasn't falling apart at least. Um, and I haven't, I haven't, like I said, I haven't done a lot of uh, really high stress situations with this. I don't ride trails. I don't do steep inclines, obviously, because I live in Florida. Um, know, can you see this? I'm just, uh, I'm starting all these screws with, with this, but I'm going to do the final turns with the screwdriver, just so I don't strip it out. So anyways, like I was saying, I don't do a lot of, of really stressful things with my M Super. I don't accelerate super hard. I don't try to brake super hard. Um, I don't maintain like, you know, 20 miles an hour plus for real long periods of time. I think the longest ride I've done on this is 20 miles. So I think I've escaped the melting connector bug. So I feel a little bit better that I opened it up just to verify it. And uh, but if you have the Gotway M Super V3 V3S, yeah, Monster or an ACM, I would I would take a look. I mean, obviously you can see it. It wasn't that hard. It doesn't take long, and it might be uh, you know five ten minutes of work for uh, some peace of mind. So you might want to do it yourself. So <clears throat> that's it. Just a quick little video. Hopefully it was helpful, and uh, if you uh, find the videos helpful, interesting, funny, stupid, entertaining, whatever, please take a minute to uh, like and subscribe. Till next time, Duffman out.